in anime, you always seem to recognize that the restaurants your favorite characters go to always seem a bit familiar, and you could have sworn you saw them somewhere. That's because you have. Starbucks became Starbucks. Dr. Pepper became Dr. Pepper. Pepsi is now known as Pipu. And the most popular one of all, McDonald's became these. It's no secret that McDonald's has been constantly ripped off in anime. And at this point, they aren't even trying to hide anymore. It seems like they're competing to see who can make these things worse. Which is quite funny when you think about it. Just in case you've been living under a rock or you haven't touched grass in years. McDonald's, the yellow fast food chain you can find just about anywhere on earth. It's strangely... Not in Iceland. Anyway, in this video, we'll dive deeper into McDonald's in anime and why it's so embedded in the culture. By the way, you can find these knockoffs in a ton of shows. For example, in a certain magical index, they made the arcs of Imbalanced and called it Makuro Naru Hamburger. In Mob Psycho 100, they literally changed it into Mob Donalds. Meanwhile, in Citrus, it's weirdly called Mikadi Maids, but the most popular one should be Wako Donaldo. What you can find in anime like Excel World, Is This a Zombie, Anuana, and more. Surprisingly, Wakodanodo has a lot of history behind it. It was first used by Mad Magazine, which is an American comedy magazine that was first published way back in 1952. They first used Wakodanodo in their 172nd issue, where an American doctor is given a meal from Wakodanodo by Russian spies after he helped him build a bionic man. Huh? Huh? This whole skit was a direct parody of The Six Million Dollar Man, a TV show from 1973. However, that's not the only time this happened in the real world. The iconic arch logo of McDonald's was turned into a W at the local branches of the town as well in the Netherlands. They did this on purpose to honor their king. King Wilhelm Alexander's visit on April 27, 2017. Yup, that's right. All that because his name starts with a W. This has also happened in the United States. Most notably in California in March 2018, McDonald's branches inverted the arches into a W to support International Women's Day. One of the anime series incorporated the famous fast food giant as one of the central locations in the show is The Devil is a Part-Timer, also known as Araraku Maosama, which is a popular anime series based on a novel by Satoshi Wagata. It blends elements of fantasy, comedy, and slice of life. While McDonald's isn't mentioned by a name for copyright reasons, a fictional fast food chain called McRonald's plays a major role in the show and is clearly based on McDonald's. The anime uses McRonald's in a clever way to add humor and irony to the story. The plot revolves around Satan, who is transported from his demon world to modern day Tokyo. To make ends meet, Satan takes up a part time job at McRonald's a fast food chain. The choice of a fast food restaurant is not a coincidence. It symbolizes the absurdity of Satan's issues as a ruler of a demonic world, now flipping burgers in a mundane world. This is the basis of the show's humor, from hell flames to burger flames. McRonald's serves as a backdrop of various comedic scenarios. Satan uses the Elias Mal Sado, interacts with his co-workers and customers, including Yusami, who is an angel and his mortal enemy, in the otherworldly roles. The irony is clear as day, as the two rivals work alongside each other. The comparison of the supernatural powers and the mundane task of McRonald's creates situational comedy. The restaurant setting also shows how people have to adapt, survive, and chase the American dream. The anime even shows that the devil himself can adjust to new places and succeed through hard work, customer service, and ambition. This message so oh, funny, reinforces the idea that anyone can succeed if they try. Heck, since he's a king of devils, I expect him to be the laziest devil. Plus, McRonald's is where the characters grow and change. As the story goes on, we see different sides of them, both at work and in their personal lives. The restaurant setting gives them a chance to have meaningful interactions, and we see them grow, build relationships, and deal with their own problems. So why do they change the name? The anime series often features real-world elements, including popular brands and franchises, like what I said before about Starbucks, Dr. Pepper, and Pepsi. However, it's not uncommon for these shows to change the name of McDonald's while accepting the fast food giant. There are several compelling reasons behind this practice. First, anime shows rename McDonald's because the law says they have to. McDonald's is a big name around the world and is trademarked and copyrighted. If anime creators choose the real name without permission, you get sued. Renaming the brand to something fictional like McRonald's in The Devil is a Part-Timer or McRonald in Hinamatsuri allows creators to avoid potential legal troubles 
while still alluding to the real world fast food experience. Sure, we enjoy the fast food, but legality comes first. Second, anime creators change the name McDonald's to be creative. It lets them add humor, make fun of it, or be ironic in their stories. By using a slightly different version of McDonald's, they can make fictional places that are like the real thing, but have their own unique twists. This can work really well when they want to make fun of the corporate culture or consumerism of fast food chains. These renamed restaurants often serve as settings for comedic situations or social commentary. Furthermore, renaming McDonald's can serve to immerse viewers in the fictional world of anime. By making up fictional brands, the shows set themselves apart from the real world. This makes them more engaging for viewers, who can then accept the fantastical or exaggerated parts of the anime. It keeps the audience from being jolted out of the narrative by the intrusion of a real world brand. Additionally, cultural and linguistic factors play a role in renaming McDonald's in anime. In Japan, for example, the pronunciation of McDonald's differs from the original, which can lead to misinterpretations or comedic effects. Translating the name to a Japanese sounding equivalent like McDonald's can make it easier for viewers to grasp the intended wordplay and humor. But why did they still add it despite copyright? Anime series frequently incorporate McDonald's or its fictional counterparts, despite the potential threat of copyright issues for several compelling reasons. One of the main reasons anime shows include McDonald's is to make the show seem more real and relatable. McDonald's is an internationally recognized brand, and its presence in anime can make the fictional world feel like our own. This makes it easier for viewers to connect with the story and characters because they can relate to real life experiences of going to fast food restaurants. A slight difference between watching Slice of Life and touching grass in real life. McDonald's is a cultural reference point in many countries, so anime shows can use it to subtly comment on modern life, consumerism, globalization, and even social norms. This lets anime shows make fun of the real world and create satire or social commentary while navigating this legal gray area, since it's considered fair use or falls within the realm of artistic expression. Anime shows are careful not to break copyright laws. Featuring a fast food chain like McDonald's can give the brand more exposure. Fans might more likely go to a McDonald's or similar restaurant after seeing it in their favorite anime. These references can resonate with viewers, and works as indirect advertising. Also, you have to take note that the history of McDonald's in Japan and its relationship with Japanese anime is intriguing. McDonald's entered the Japanese market in 1971, and its adaption to local tastes and customs has been crucial to its success. Initially, McDonald's faced skepticism due to its foreign origins and unfamiliar menu. To overcome this, they introduced the teriyaki burger and other localized items, embracing the concept of wahoo. Japanese style fast food. The company's dedication to quality and service has resonated with the Japanese, leading to widespread popularity and steady expansion throughout the country. In Japanese anime, McDonald's or other fictional versions of it often make appearances. These references contribute to a sense of realism anime and provide cultural context. Renaming or parodying the brand while maintaining its recognizable elements is a common practice to avoid copyright issues. The main use of fast food restaurants in anime have been odds humor, satire, or commentary on modern society, globalization, and consumerism, reflecting the impact of brands like McDonald's on Japanese culture and daily life. So there you have it. That's my take on why McDonald's is so common in anime and why it's became such a big part of the culture. If you enjoyed this video and are curious why anime toilet scenes are underrated, check out this video and subscribe to my channel.